All right, let's demonstrate what happens so that we're clear about what will happen in the context of this question. What happens when I block or ban someone from sending me email in Gmail? Will they be able to send email to me again or not anymore? Well, first of all, the, the, the phrase is block. There's no such thing as ban. It's block someone on Gmail. Let's go do it and take a look and see what happens. So I'm going to go over here to my business account. I'm going to look for an email from Burris Consulting at gmail.com. Here's one right here. I got an email mess message from Burris Consulting at gmail.com. Now, here's the magic. If I want to block this person, hit the three dots, and I can block that person. Future messages from BCI Google Testing, Burris Consulting at Gmail will be marked as spam. Watch this. Boom, block. Now let's go do this and see what happens. I'm going to go to the email address, burrisconsulting at gmail.com, and I'm going to send Teddy Burris an email message. Watch this. Here I am right here. I'm going to compose. I'm going to send an email address message to TL Burris at burrisconsulting.com right there. I'm going to say, dude, hi. I'm going to hit send. Now, the message has been sent. There's a pause here. I gotta wait for the pause. As soon as I come off of the screen and back on, it 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 sends it. If I go to sent, look, there's the email message that I sent just now at 12:14 p.m. Let's go see if that email address got the message. Go to profile. Go to that account. I'm gonna go to the inbox. I'm gonna refresh. It's not there. But look in spam. There's a message in spam from Burris Consulting at gmail.com right there. Dude, hi. Bottom line, when you block somebody in Gmail, what happens is all future messages from that email address that you just blocked end up in your spam. They, just, they don't show up in your inbox. Now, by the way, the fact that it's in spam is really pretty simple now. Because it's in spam, it'll automatically get permanently deleted. Now, I can take this one step further if I want to. And I can say all email messages that I get from uh, this email address, burrisconsulting at gmail.com, I can filter those right here. Filter messages like this. And I can say any email message from burrisconsultant at gmail.com, create a filter, and I can say immediately delete it. It'll be in your trash just as Google, when I block, is putting them in spam. However, it won't show up in your inbox. So that's what happens when you block them. They go to your spam filter. And they believe the message is sent. Look, if I go back and look, this person's sitting ha high and happy thinking he sent an email message to me. But it went to spam and I never respond to it. Now, they may respond to it again and they may reply and go, dude, what's up? And when they send that, just as with before, it's going to come over here into my email and look right here in spam. There it is. There's the first message and there's the second message. Again, blocking just sends them to spam. Filter and all messages send them to, to delete them. They'll just end up in the trash. There is no quote unquote ban prohibiting them from showing up in either your spam or your trash when you're using free Gmail. If you're using Google Workspace, which is the business version of Gmail, you can block them completely from showing up in your domain and it'll kick back an undeliverable message to the sender. Gmail, they'll only end up in spam unless you filter them and dump them in trash. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.